What is up you guys? My name is Cody Reed and I do a new video every single day. So today we're going to answer one of the questions that I hear the most. Is the GMC Sierra or Chevrolet Silverado, is the double cab sufficient for car seats? So I actually have a double cab. I'm just going to give you the information then you can decide for yourself whether you think it's big enough for you and your family or not. Let's go. Let's get it. Of course you guys, it's starting to rain so that's typical around here anymore. But I want to show you real quick before I jump in it. This is what I have. It's a GMC Sierra. Again, it's a GMC Sierra 2018 double cab, not a crew cab. Theoretically, it shouldn't fit car seats in it, right? That's what everybody says. Everybody says double cabs, too small for car seats. Let's check it out. Yes, yes, yes. It'll fit a baby doll. How about that? It'll fit a baby doll's car seat. Did I get you? I didn't get you. I didn't get you because you're too smart for that. No, I got a four-year-old in a booster seat, basically car seat. And then let me turn the camera around. It is a little tight. And then I do have a uh, two-year-old one and a half year old, I should say, that's in a rear facing car seat. So I'm gonna go get them from school right now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go pick the kids up from school and then once we get them in here, I'll physically show you how they fit and then you can make the decision again if it's something that you think would work for you and your family. And then I'll close it up with some opinions on what I think and see how this truck has fit in our family. So one more time, let's go. Climb on up. Okay. So do you think that there's enough room in this truck for no. you? You think it's too small? Huh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Here, let me help you. You do? You think it's too small? Yeah. Okay guys, so here's the deal. There isn't much space in the back. And depending on what you're using the truck for would kind of depend if I would say yes, purchase it or no, don't. Um, Again, if the car seats are in there, there I'm just gonna reiterate it one more time, there is little to no room. This truck for us is merely a very once in a while the kids get in there and go with us. For the most part, I'm by myself, so it's not that big of a deal. If I was driving it every day or I was driving it to and from vacations, I would definitely say that the double cab is not big enough. Like I would buy a pre-owned crew cab before I would buy a brand new double cab just to have the newer truck at that point. So double cab with car seats is really gonna depend, again, how you use it, what you're using it for. If the kids are only in there every now and then like they are in mine, then I would say do it. Big bang for the buck. You're gonna get a lot more truck for a lot less money and um, just a little bit of sacrifice. Just to give you like a visual effect here, um, this seat is almost all the way up. My hand gets in between it. Um, the little car seat's not bad, it's got plenty of room. And then you can see as far as leg room goes for, for Mila, the older one. Let me go over here. So you can kind of see um, as far as space goes with the back. There's not, maybe, if I spread my hand out, that's about how far it is. And I'm sitting a little bit closer than I would like, but again, Short trips, no big deal. So tell me down below guys, what do you think? Is it small? Is it too small? Would you not consider buying it because there's just not enough room? Or are, or are you like me? Maybe you make a little bit of sacrifice to get a little bit nicer truck or get a little bit newer truck with the double cab. Tell me down below guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. My name is Cody Reed and I do a new video every single day. See you guys then. Kids are running inside, I gotta go.